Good morning everyone. It's a very early start to the day here in Ushuaia in Patagonia. It's around 6.40am uh, right now. And today is our final day in Patagonia unfortunately. But we're going to be doing a boat tour to visit uh, Penguin Island. Which is probably the thing that we most wanted to do here in Ushuaia. And it's going to cost 13,500 pesos per person. So we're just heading to the place now where we booked the tour and then we'll be heading there. So we booked the tour on the, the waterfront here and that's the company there, uh, Pirator, if you want to book it exactly like we did. But there's loads of different companies here but yeah some of them are doing different kind of boat tours. But this one definitely has the penguin island. Ready yeah. for some penguinos? Yes, I am excited. <laughs> uh, but I, I also read that there are two kind of tours for the penguins. This one that we're doing, which includes uh, walking in the island, and the other one, which is just uh, navigation. So people yeah. said that they couldn't see the penguins so up close. Yeah, so we're we're supposed to actually actually be like walking with the penguins. Yeah, like uh, keeping a distance, but in the same island. So I think. Uh, uh, our experience will be a little bit uh, better in that sense. We'll find out. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> arrived at the spot here where we're gonna get the boat back there I think it's called Estancia Harbour how long did she say the boat was to the island only 15 minutes ah, just a quick one yeah oh, and the weather's actually not so bad right no it's not raining so that's good yeah we thought it was gonna be colder especially this early buenos dias Man, <laughs> wow. that's crazy. Yeah, There's can, you, can you hear the noise that yeah. they're making? There's like thousands. That's the, the greeting. <laughs> yeah. Hello, humans. Oh, yeah. There's three there. Three little ones. Look at this little guy. <laughs> He's coming really close, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen a penguin before? Only at the zoo. <laughs> Only at the zoo. Going, going for a swim. So the guy said there's uh, 5,000 couples, right? Yeah, of this species, but there are other other ones from other species. Yeah, I think there's like three main types, right? Yeah, but and one species, there's only one penguin of that species. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's one single penguin? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That penguin needs to mate to, to have more. Es la pata del pingüino, eh, el pingüino eh, magallánico, el patagónico, ¿sí? Miren las uñas que tiene, lo fuerte que son, y con esto hacen... Ahí te la dejo para que les fotografies, no la quiero pasar de ahí, pero... <risa> eh, las uñas fuertes que tienen, porque los vamos a ver haciendo niños. So, on this tour, we were able to go to five different viewpoints, so... I think this is the second one here. So around here, since this is an island that they come to for uh, mating, right? To have kids. 
you'll see loads of holes that they make and that's where the children are in the holes so these are probably a couple right Chris yeah. and Carol oh, Chris and Carol <laughs> yeah Chris Jr. is down there somewhere <laughs> So in the middle of this group here, there's a king penguin that it's called. It's a lot bigger and it has like a, a yellow chest. Way bigger than the other ones, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, uh, there's only that guy here. Oh, that's the one? That's yeah, from the species, yeah. The king of the penguin island. So this one here is uh, collecting bits of grass to give to the kid, I think. Look at all that grass in the mouth. <laughs> Loads of penguins on the beach on this side. Look at all those penguins. Going for a swim. Hey Carol, they're hiding under the stairs, look. <laughs> I wonder what the sound is about. <laughs> Mating? I don't know. Mating sound maybe, yeah. <laughs> Taking care of each other. Oh. Yeah, this part we're super close because they're coming on the trail as well, so can't avoid them. <laughs> Psychos. I think he's trying to mate. This is a pretty big guy. Never thought I'd get this close to penguins. Yeah, it's uh, magical. Yeah, it's crazy how they handle this much. Um, Cold. Yeah, because they're not very furry, right? It's just body fat. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah, it's absolutely freezing now. Like this icy cold Antarctic wind or something. <sighs> I think it's only like four degrees, but it feels way worse. So I asked the guide what it means when they're like screaming and shouting. And she said it's just communication, usually when they're happy. So there's a lot of happy penguins on this island. <laughs> They're going crazy. Yeah, happy penguins and happy tourists. <laughs> yeah, happy tourists as well. This is an amazing trip. Wow. Oh. Guy here. 
Oh, he's on the move. Yeah, so when we booked this, we knew that it was going to be an amazing experience. All the reviews were just pretty much saying like once in a lifetime experience. So yeah, we, we knew it would be awesome, guaranteed. So on the way back we ended up stopping at this cozy little cafe here and I didn't even know that there's food included in this tour but it's more like cafe food like snacks uh, yeah like dessert stuff like that but had some nice uh, hot chocolate so that was good and I mentioned in the last video that Chile was in front of us so here it's much closer you can really see the mountains now and that's the main town over there Puerto Williams I think there's like 2,000 3,000 people that live there I think the rest of the island's pretty much remote. And it's funny that my uh, phone has connected to the internet from Chile. I got a message saying welcome to Chile, but I'm in Argentina. That's my uh, T-Mobile uh, plan. So that tour's ended now, uh, we ended up going back to our hotel for about 30 minutes and now we've come to do a trail at a spot called Laguna Turquesa. So we just got a taxi back there and we arranged with the guy to, to pick us up in about 4 hours time and it's gonna cost uh, 1,500 pesos each way. I think we're about 15 minutes from the centre so yeah it's not very far. And the popular trail to do here is called Laguna Esmeralda but yeah, we saw some reviews about this one and uh, yeah, some people thought this one was better and it's also less busy. But the thing about this one is um, it's a shorter trail than Esmeralda, but yeah, people said it's just constantly uphill. So it's supposed to be about um, three hours round trip, which is way smaller than what we've been doing in like El Shelton. So shouldn't be too hard for us, right? <laughs> no, no, I hope not. Yeah. And this is our last trail in Patagonia. Yeah, the last trail. The last. No. <laughs> Yeah, they weren't joking this this is super steep and like muddy luckily it's not that wet because we'd just be slipping like crazy so i think it's like 600 meters elevation but only over an hour and a half so yeah it's quite a lot of uh, elevation in a short distance yeah guys if you're gonna do this trail definitely come in proper boots with grip because it's just that the whole way just this like sludgy mud, sludgy slippery mud. It's not even rainy and it's still super slippy. It's kind of snowy. Yeah, there's tiny specks of snow. Yeah. But you can't really see it. No. <laughs> Almost Carol's first snow ever. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Let me film Carol sliding Carol down the sliding down the mountain. Succeeding. Carol succeeding. Yeah. Carol winning.
So we're doing a great job. We just went on some crazy path through the forest and then we realized we were clearly not on any proper path at all. Loads of places look like paths. Or they are paths of other people that made mistakes, I don't know. So we were supposed to cut up here. I think the lagoon is through over there, but we just came up all this forest here. Well, at least there's some nice views. Look behind you, girl. Oh yeah. Wow. How are you handling the cold, Brazilian? It's hard, <laughs> especially my fingers. Yeah, you can see the little snowy specks. Get in the camera? I don't know if you can see it on the yeah, camera. Look, one just them. went on your your hat, yeah. First snow. Almost. Almost. <laughs> hey, maybe it'll get even better. Let's see. Now, how the hell do we get down there? I think we can cut down here, maybe. No, I don't know. Maybe go further up. <laughs> what do we do, Carol? Yeah, maybe go that way. Go that way? Yeah. All right, we're going up. So from here, you can actually see the other laguna, the famous one, Esmeralda. So yeah, it's just a, a flat trail. Longer, but flat trail. Looks beautiful, though, the surroundings of it. Yeah, over there, the mountains are more icy, aren't they? Yeah. 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 Wow. Man, I can't get enough of these Patagonian mountains. Amazing. Look how nice this is. <laughs> the waterfall coming from the lagoon. So I think the laguna is just over here now. But yeah, this waterfall is really beautiful. Going all the way down. Good photos? Yes. <laughs> yeah, this is a place where you need a good camera. Yeah. Not my crappy GoPro <laughs> no, for no. pictures anyway. Yeah. All right. One minute to go. Here it is. <laughs> wow, the color certainly lives up to its name. Really is turquoise, isn't it? Beautiful. Yeah, we're the only people here. Yeah, yeah. We saw people coming down the trail quite a lot, but mm -hmm. we yeah, no it all to ourselves. Yeah, nobody was coming up the trail. Look at that for a backdrop as well. Wow. So it actually only took us an hour to get up here, not an hour and a half, and that's even with us making a mistake. We didn't make the mistake, probably got here in like 45, 50 minutes, but we only arranged with the guy to pick us up in like three hours time, so yeah, I guess we're gonna have to relax out here for like two hours or something, or even more. So since we have so much time to kill, we're just inventing our own little hikes around here now. <laughs> Trying to find different viewpoints. So there's no trail up here, but yeah, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, easy to walk on. It's funny, the the ground here is like soft, right? Yeah, spongy. Spongy, yeah. Yeah, it's 
empty. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to walk on though. Yeah. Comfortable. And if you fall, there's no problem. <laughs> Just don't fall on the rocks. Yeah. Man, I love this laguna. Probably the nicest color water we've seen out of all the lagunas. Yes, I think. I think I prefer this color. Even than the, the Laguna de los Tres. But of course, Laguna de los Tres is more beautiful. Way overall. more beautiful. No comparison. Yeah, because of all the big mountains, Fitzroy and yeah, it's just, uh, you can't compare, but this is awesome as well. <laughs> yeah. Carol, you, you always wanted to go to Iceland. This is the training for Iceland. Training. For the Iceland uh, weather. Here she comes, got, got to run to stay warm. <laughs> Yeah, we're almost at the top now. The views from here are way crazier now, so I can actually even see the icy peaks. Couldn't see that from down there. Really close. I bet there's people that actually go up where we're going and then walk all the way across. Could probably do it. Now on this side as well, I can see way more mountains. Could only see these before. Going all the way back there. And soon we'll see what's on the other side. See, we're not the only people that do this. Footprints. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, we made it to the top of the mountain that we wanted to climb. And look at this for a view behind the mountain. Wow, that's a long way down. Look at these mountains though. Wow, especially that one. What do you think, Carol? Uh, climb number two? That mountain over there? Uh -huh. Freeze to death? No. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> I'm joking. No chance. Mountain high enough. You know that song? Uh huh. Who is it? Like Tina Turner or something? Yeah, I think so. Ain't no mountain high enough. I don't remember the rest of the words. We're still going up though. Carol's fed up with me already. I keep wanting to go higher and higher. Now nah, this will be it for sure. Carol, you're missing out. Get your butt over here. <laughs> Alright, definitely not going further than this now. Okay, now we can see the complete valley on this side. There's actually something that looks like a tent over there. I think there's a tent, a blue tent. Yeah, you could definitely walk across here though. People must do that. Hey Carol, that, I think that is a tent over there, right? Yes, I think so. A blue one. Yeah, maybe there are some rock climbers or, I don't know, hikers. Some crazy people. Yeah. Alright, that's it, Carol. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're a thousand percent gonna do more trips like this one in the future. That'll be us camping over there soon. <laughs> Probably not. I wanna become a rock climber. Rock climber? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we didn't mention, but that day that we went to Laguna del Torre, there was an avalanche, right? And uh, a guy died yeah, the day we saw, went. When we were there, we saw some helicopters and we we thought it was like a tour or something, helicopter tour, but later on we found out that there was an accident. Yeah. Which was very 
Yeah, very sad. Especially. Yeah, everybody was talking about it in yeah, town. Yeah, people were talking about it. So, yeah, it's a dangerous uh, sport, but I guess... They do it for the thrill, I guess. Yeah, for the thrill or for the views. So now it is spa time, <laughs> the best time. So at the reception, you just have to arrange the time that you want to go. I think because of uh, COVID, maybe it's not because of COVID, I don't know, but I think they make it like a uh, private just for, yeah, just for you. So it's a bit noisy in here. Got the bubbles going. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's what we needed after the cold weather. Also got a, a swimming pool in here. They do have a sauna here, right? Yeah, there. They also have a massage. Maybe we'll get one. A massage? Yeah, I think that it's a massage to make my legs a little bit like, better after the trail and after the hiking. Still sore from the hiking. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not sure if you can see me properly in here. I'm in the the sauna now. Carol didn't come in. She just went in the swimming pool. The swimming pool apparently is harder than the jacuzzi. So yeah, that would be nice. But I decided to come in the, the sauna for 15 minutes. I haven't been in a sauna, I guess, in like three years. Jacuzzi too. Oh, we did the indigenous sauna in uh, Mexico. That was completely different though. Man, this is intense. I forgot that uh, time go slow in a sauna. 15 minutes feels like half an hour. <laughs> feels good though, especially when you get out after. It's a really good feeling. So this is the end of our Argentina and Patagonia trip, unfortunately. We're not ready to go, we really wanna stay here, especially since there's so much to do here. Here in Ushuaia, there's so many other trails and tours that you can do. Even in El Shalten, we didn't do all the trails, so. Yeah, there's more things to do in each area. Originally, we were supposed to stay three weeks here, but then we got COVID and it changed our trip. So we only ended up staying uh, two weeks, but we did all the main things that we had planned. We just kept doing stuff every day to try and be able to do it all. And we've just loved uh, Argentina as a whole. Like the people have been nice, food's great. Yeah, and just so many attractions, just been a interesting place to visit. Very different to any other place that we have visited in uh, South America, especially cause like Buenos Aires felt like Europe and yeah, this here doesn't really feel like uh, South America cause it's all cold way down south. So yeah, different experience for us. I'd say the only negative side was the complications for foreigners with uh, the exchange issues that they have over here, the money exchange. So I mentioned before that if you're using your credit card or debit card, in banks, ATMs, or to pay for things. The exchange rate is really bad from the government, so you end up paying double. So basically, if you bring your own cash into the country, or if you use like Western Union, you can get the good exchange rate, and you're gonna pay half the price, which is more like the actual correct price of things. But then the complicated part is there are some things that you have to pay with your card. So for example, this accommodation here, we paid in cash. And that's why this is cheaper than some of our other accommodations in like El Shalton, which were way more simple. Those places we paid on like Airbnb, so you're getting that bad uh, government exchange rate. Yeah, and you end up paying way more than the uh, place is actually worth because this is like a four star hotel and it's cheaper. But yeah, we were able to pay this in, in cash. On booking.com it gave the option to pay in cash and also for other things it's like the peak season in Argentina so there's loads of tourists here and it's advised to book your tours in advance also but then you have to do it online which is paying with your card 
and you're gonna pay twice as much as it's worth. And we didn't do that. We were just turning up and trying to book tours for the next day and it was like super complicated because we wanted to pay in cash because for example, like that Glacier tour, it already isn't that cheap anyway. Like me and Carol paid in cash and probably for the entire day we spent about $300. But if we were to do that all by card online, the tour would be around like $500, $600, which is obviously crazy for Argentina and South America. That's more like uh, Iceland prices or Switzerland tour prices, but they're the most expensive countries in the world, right? Yeah, so usually you don't expect to pay like $300 per person for a half day tour in South America, but it's just the exchange rate issue. But we still got around it and had a great trip and we were still able to do everything. So yeah, it was no big deal in the end, just a bit more confusing and more difficult to plan things. And the next video should be from Portugal. We're going there just for a week or two very quickly. And then, yeah, we're still trying to work out what country we'll go to after that. We're not entirely sure yet. So if you like this video and the Argentina series, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this one. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one.